legend sunrise good morning welcome back to my channel guys if you're new here my name is bianca and i make fitness wellness lifestyle content and today we're doing a day in the life we're doing a monday vlog so today's a pretty busy day so i'm currently uh pretty much in finals for university this is actually my last semester of classes in my physiotherapy masters so that's really exciting and on top of that i have my fitness coaching um business that is growing and that requires quite a lot of my time but which i am so so happy to do <laughs> and then there's just regular you know content creation my own fitness prepping all kinds of things it's a busy monday it's kind of a mixture of a normal monday and the sunday combined together because it's a long weekend for me so i do have today off from school which is really good but I have a lot of client calls to do. I have to go do like grocery shopping and some cleaning, some of the things that I would normally do on Sunday. But yesterday we spent time with family, so I didn't get to do all of that. So it's going to be a busy day, but it's going to be a good day. I'm going to take you guys along. And we're starting the day a little bit earlier than I would have liked. I'm not going to lie with all of the Easter food and a couple drinks yesterday. My 5.45 alarm clock hit pretty hard this morning, so, you know, not the easiest, but starting my day earlier than I have to and getting my workout in first thing before I start my calls and all my other things on my to-do list is just going to make my day so, so much better. So, that is what we're going to do. I've got a waffle in the toaster right now. That's going to be my little pre-workout snack, meal, whatever. I'm gonna make some pre-workout and then we're just gonna get up there and see what we can do. Good morning, my bloom pre-workout is definitely gonna be taking me through this morning's workout. Also, if it makes anyone feel better, I am like, incredibly like almost painfully <laughs> bloated from last night so you're not alone it's okay we don't need to make up for easter dinner or whatever you might have done this weekend we just start on with a new day that's what we're doing pre-workout gonna get a workout in gonna eat amazing delicious food and get our monday stuff done i had mentioned it in the past but it's been a while but all of the supplements that i take are all from bloom nutrition um, and honestly, I was never a pre-workout gal before I started using Bloom. This is the only pre-workout that I enjoy taking because it, I don't get like a crash. I don't get jitters. Like people who use workout with beta, beta alanine, the one that like gives you like the body tingles and makes you feel like, I don't understand how people do that. I remember doing that twice. I think I tried pre-workout that had beta alanine. And I remember like warming up, like I think I was walking on the treadmill or whatever and being like, oh my God, I like don't feel good. How do people do this? And I honestly couldn't get through my workout because I hated the feeling that the pre-workout gave me. And since then I like swore off pre-workout. And then when I started working out with Bloom, I saw that they don't have, they barely use any of that. Like I don't even know if there's any beta alanine at all. I don't think so and the caffeine is extracted from green tea and they just have like much more natural ingredients and I love it it gives me the right amount of energy but no like crazy boost no crash no weird feeling just like clean energy is what it feels like so highly recommend I'm gonna leave my link down below it's an affiliate link so if you do decide to try their product and you use that link it supports me so thank you very much and you guys automatically get a little discount for clicking through an affiliate link so if you want to try let me know in the comments what you do get and if you enjoy it i would love to know Anyways, we're gonna sip on this go upstairs while i sip on this i'm gonna like do a little bit of mobility trying to like get my get myself moving a little bit because it's leg day so you know trying to feel a little bit more awake so that's the plan <laughs>
part of the morning. Made my greens. Hopefully this helps my gut and my digestion a little bit today. Um, and then I just sat down, made a list of my to-dos for the day, which are like a variety of things. I've got two client calls this morning, two client calls this evening, and then I have a call in between that with um, a company so that's I, I'm not gonna talk about it yet because I'm not too sure exactly how that's gonna go but anyways I have that call kind of in the middle of the day at 11 45 and then I need to study I need to watch a lecture for school I have to get groceries done in there somewhere and then maybe I'm gonna go and take some golden hour photos which like that's at the bottom of my priority list if everything else gets done and I can then around five-ish, I'll try to maybe go take some photos if it's still nice out and it looks like it could work well just to have a little bit of extra content for this week or next week. So anyways, making my to-do and then putting them on my little like calendar, not calendar, my like hourly schedule really helps me like visualize and try to kind of time block chunks of the day to do different things. But before my first call, I'm gonna give myself 30 minutes to just chill, enjoy my morning. I'm gonna drink this and I'm gonna watch Sarah's day, uh, her new vlog she just posted when she comes home from the hospital with her baby. I am a sucker for baby vlogs. Plus like I've been watching Sarah's day since, I don't know, probably like seven years at this point. So it's just, it's uh, it's really fun to see her go through like all the, the stages in her life basically. So anyways, that's what I'm gonna do now. Chill a little bit, do my first two calls, and then I'll probably catch up with you guys afterwards if I'm going to the grocery store. If I study a little bit, then I won't catch you guys up on that because that's boring. But I'll see you guys again when I head to the grocery store. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? We were saying it's all about momentum. Like those days where everything is going well, it seems so easy to continue to do things well. And then you have like one dinner out where you're like, oh, you know what, it's fine. This time I'll just do whatever. And then you wake up the next day and all of a sudden you're kind of in this momentum of making less good decisions again. So, and that's fine. And that's what we're Finally, doing. just now having breakfast, it's 10.30, I'm starving. And this is also my first cup of coffee of the day. I don't know who I am, but I just thought before I get into my studies, I just show you guys what I'm having for breakfast. And surprise, surprise, it's protein oatmeal, so. I've talked about this many, many, many times, but I this has been the go-to breakfast. It's been probably two years now that I have this most days of the week, so that is uh, pretty incredible, but I do not get fed up of it. It's just oatmeal. When I have collagen, I put in collagen powder. I put in protein powder from Bloom, and then I put usually a berry, usually blueberries, and then sometimes banana. And that's it, but it's high protein, high fiber. I get antioxidants from the blueberries. I get a good amount of carbs to fuel my morning. And depending on the day, sometimes I'll add peanut butter, so I'll get a little bit of healthy fats as well. Delicious, simple. I make it the night before so that in the morning it's super, super easy. So yeah, if you haven't tried protein oatmeal yet, highly recommend. Okay, change of plans, finished my calls and sent a couple more client messages. I got most of my client work done for the day other than the calls that I have this evening. So I decided to switch the order of my day around and go get my grocery shopping done right away. I like to order my days, yes, in order of priorities, but also in order of what I wanna do the least first to kind of build that momentum and get the harder things out of the way first. And leaving my house right now to go grocery shopping is one of those things that I really don't feel like doing, but that I really have to do today. So that's why we're gonna get that done first and then come back home and once that is done, I'll be able to just make myself an afternoon coffee, sit down, and then like power through schoolwork instead of always having in the back of my mind the fact that I'm gonna have to get up and go to the grocery store. So, got my bags, got my uh, bum <laughs> grocery shopping outfit on, and we're gonna go get it checked off the list. got sushi for lunch today because there was nothing prepped in the fridge and I was really hungry when I was grocery shopping so I'm gonna have this and then I think I'm actually gonna make 
a protein iced coffee instead of a regular iced coffee this afternoon. Just because I'm not convinced that I get the amount of protein that I need from this meal. So I'm gonna have this and then show you guys how I make my protein iced coffee and then actually get to studying and stop procrastinating. Oh, so I changed my mind and just went for a regular iced coffee because I was actually really full after the sushi, so I didn't want to add extra calories in my system for no reason, but I'm going to set up actually to study outside because it is sunny and it's like almost 10 degrees, which is amazing for April and sunny, and I think it's gonna rain for like forever after today, so. I'm gonna sit outside, make my setting a little bit more enjoyable. Why not? That is it. That is the latest update, and I will probably just see you guys when I start prepping dinner tonight. Okay, study break time, and I'm getting started on dinner way early. It's only 3.50, but that's because I'm gonna put it in the slow cooker, and it's gonna take about three and a half hours. So that way, by the time dinner rolls around, it'll be good and ready to go. And I'm actually gonna make more and have some extra for lunches this week. So what I'm gonna be making is chicken and vegetables in the slow cooker. And then I'll make rice separately in a rice cooker, maybe even some potatoes, depends how much meal prepping I want to get done. And that way it'll make life so much easier for the rest of the week because there will be a couple things already prepped. I also already have a little bit of chicken in the fridge but making like a full meal like this, plus it's so much better when you make it in the slow cooker. So what we're gonna do is chicken, onions, some a bag of mixed frozen veggies, and then the base of all of this, we're gonna put some olive oil, some honey Dijon mustard, um, garlic, chicken broth, lemon juice, and then thyme, rosemary, salt, pepper. So it's gonna be super flavorful, super delicious, and like I said, cooking it in the slow cooker just makes the chicken more tender, and all the flavors soak in. So really good, easy, quick way to make chicken and vegetables delicious and to make yourself want to eat that throughout the week. So if you're, whether you're in a muscle building phase, a fat loss phase, just trying to be healthier, making bigger healthy meal preps like this, especially in a slow cooker, can make life super easy. So let's get to it. of my Monday, came back from my walk. I'm about to put potatoes in the oven. I've got some rice prepping over there, like I said. My chicken is still going in the slow cooker, so all the meal prep is done, my schoolwork is done. I have my client call, my next two client calls starting in 10 minutes. So then I have those back to back, and then I'm just gonna sit down, have dinner, and then wind down into my evening routine. So I'm gonna close off the vlog here. If you guys are interested in seeing my evening routine, like my whole wind down, prep for the next day, all of that, then comment down below. I haven't filmed that ever, or at least in a very long time. So let me know your thoughts, and if there's anything else that you guys would like to see, please drop it in the comments. I'd love to get feedback from you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, and subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!